Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today I'll be going over how to complete the Oshuary, a word I probably just butchered, Challenge Tomb in Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Let's get started. This is where you want to go on the map. Uh, make sure you are in the water because you have to swim underneath the water to get to the tomb. Don't worry, I will lead you right there. Just make sure that you're in the water. And that's where you gotta go, right here. Pretty hard to miss, actually. So head in and uh, follow the path. Don't worry, uh, no eels, no piranhas, nothing that's going to get you in here. I know that some people are kind of like, eh, about those, but no problems in here. Don't know if I've said this once, or twice, or three times, or every time, I don't know. Get the perk that lets you hold your breath longer and lets you swim faster. If you haven't figured it out yet, this game is taking a lot of time underwater. Main story parts, side story parts, like, I feel like more than half the tombs are underwater. So just get them. You're going to use them. When you finally get out of the water, that is where the tomb actually opens up. It'll be like unknown area or whatever. But yeah, this is where we're going to start. To get down into the tomb, you are going to have to jump across and buckle on. And then uh, rappel down. And there's a little campfire down here. And that's where the uh, craziness starts. There's also one of those things that will help you with the language. So feel free to grab that. Grab the emeralds. All that. When you got everything you want, head through the uh, tight hole here. One of those obsidian shards will poke you. Uh, as Laura says, obsidian does not dull. So she's going to be dealing with that through the whole tomb. Go down and hit this switch. Down in that water below, I'm not going to show it, but there's plenty of stuff to grab. Uh, there's a couple of mining nodes and things like that. Uh, no eels or piranha, so it's safe to go in. But it is not the direction that you need to go. Once everything's done and you're cleared with the place, head back to the switch. Take that. Jump. Hop up, and there you go. Now, you can jump these little ones, no problem, so don't worry about that. Just take it a little slow, because the ones that are spinning, those couldn't get you pretty bad. As you can see here, there is a little opening on the left. Take that. And once you get past it, run all the way to the end, and guess what you're going to do? Yep, jump and repel. I don't know why they keep showing that tutorial like I don't know what I'm doing. I've been through like every tomb, so I'm not sure why they think I don't know how to play. It's a little annoying, but hey, it's there. So, repel, jump, good to go. Head all the way through the tunnel until you get to this switch here. You do have to hit it. I'm sure you know what this does. Those not spinning blades are going to start spinning. You just have to jump past them and then you'll be at where the uh, main puzzle of the area is. Just watch it. It goes up and down. Not a big deal. It's pretty easy to get past this one. I must have lost the footage of me jumping over, but after you jump over, this is where you end up. Don't worry about these switches on the left or right, I'm just using it so I can explain what happened to the footage. So you're actually just going to head right up to the ramp of the fire and the spinning blades of death. Watch me before you do this, because you're going to the right. Once the first blade passes, go here, make sure you're sprinting. Jump, then press circle, and then boom, there you go. You have to get to this ramp before you get caught by the blades. I got caught like three times before I finally made it. Not easy. All right, so we're going through this area and the blades and the obsidian stuff is going slow. Here's what you're going to do. Push this switch and then run right back down that path. You got to go fast, but you got to go slow. Watch me do it first so you kind of understand what's going on. Jump here. Timing is everything. You can jump this one and jump the next one. No problem. Don't worry about that. Here, you have to kind of take it a slow. Then boom, boom. Now, hit this switch. Hit this switch and it'll lower the middle blade down before the top one opens and it'll break the bottom ones. And as Laura says, now we go to the left side. Yes. For the left side, we're actually going to jump the smaller blade. You can see the ramp right over there. When the smaller blade is coming, run, jump, and just go off the ramp. It's a lot easier than trying to run around, trust me. Did it like four times. Once you're down here, you know what happens. Head over to the switch, hit the switch, run through the death gambit of obsidian blades, and then hit the switch at the entrance. I actually had a lot more luck with this one. I was able to run it, no problem. Hit this switch, follow my path, watch, just so you kind of understand what's about to happen. And when you get to the end, again, hit the switch. And there you go. All right, I'm gonna actually get out of here because there's not any more puzzles past this. I'll let the video run so you can see how it goes. Basically, it breaks the middle thing and you gotta platform your way up, get the relic, and then get out. I'll show all that, so don't worry. But that's it for me. So, if you liked what you saw, got what you needed, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.
think I might be able to climb this. 